Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and uh, remember that now is the prime summer propagation time. What does that do exactly? Because propagation is a mystery for a lot of people. Remember that summer is a fun, nice long day in the northern hemisphere, but midday is the low point. Uh, when I see somebody saying, well, you know, I was listening around noon or 1, uh, 1 p.m. local, I don't hear much. Uh, propagation must be bad. It's not that propagation is bad. It's not the good time to listen. Summertime, there's a lot of absorption in midday, so it's not the time to listen to shortwave. Usually, you'll want to start listening a lot more in uh, mid to late afternoon into the evening and night. That's when everything is going to come to life as propagation. In the midday, in general, it's rather, uh, you know, well, you'll have some local station, a few stations here and there, but it's a much more quiet time. The um, fact also that at night, higher frequencies will propagate easily. Uh, I often hear people saying, well, you know, it's middle of the night and I hear 20 meter band. I don't get it. Uh, remember that when you look here on the right side, if we look at the, the terminator, where is that what we call the often called a gray line in propagation it doesn't reach up to the north pole it actually stops uh, at a certain point that's because even if you're in the darkness path here a signal can actually go over the pole where it's actually um it's actually um still you know sunny because it's sunny 24 hours a day a lot of people are actually um, ham radio operators in particular are using this as a propagation method so they'll send over the pole to you know broadcast to another continent so that's why you might hear europe at midnight on 20 meters in north america simply because the signals go over the pole where it's uh, actually always sunlight so there's all sorts of you know propagation like that that is being used to uh actually enhance higher frequencies um so you know remember that it's more of a mid-afternoon to late afternoon evening and night thing now for propagation but as we will go eventually the days are gonna you know they already probably almost started uh it takes a couple of days but they start uh quite quickly uh, you know uh, getting smaller and smaller uh days uh, of of sunlight so um you know as we'll move on july will be summer propagation but now, I guess we start already seeing the effects of, you know, moving on to another season. So enjoy your, your listening and remember that midday isn't the best day in, in, in summer. Of course, all of those in Australia watching my show or in South America, uh, you guys have a different propagation because the southern hemisphere is, of course, in the winter now. So it's winter propagation. And if, for example, in Australia, that means listening pretty much all day at different frequencies. Uh, might be an interesting lesson, actually. So uh, check it out. And don't forget that gray line propagation. Both stations need to be in that area. The gray line is what you see here, that terminator that actually has that um, different colors because it's where the sun sets or the sun rises, depending on where you are. If you are where you live in that area, the sun is setting or rising, and a station is in that area and another part of the world, this is called gray line propagation. It's a very unique time, lasts about an hour, an hour and a half, where propagation is very enhanced. And you might be surprised what you could hear if both stations are in that little gray area. So enjoy summer. Bring your radios outside. Take some uh, sunshine, some beautiful days, and, and just enjoy radio. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.